Good morning all, last day. We've uh, already had breakfast. Um, almost packed. Almost packed. Um, getting ready to go out. <laughs> get, sorry, I'm really tired. Getting ready to go out. Um, we're going to drop up. We've got a train at um, pretty much 8 o'clock tonight, 5 to 8, uh, from Waterloo. So we're going to drop off our suitcases at Waterloo and go do some other bits um can I explore um so yeah that's all we're gonna do um i'm not gonna lie we are both absolutely shattered we didn't go to bed till two we didn't go to bed till two um i have to right, have to say though the jack the ripper tour guide um was that yeah it was probably one of the best things done on this trip it was so good it was free um there is obviously the person does do it for a living they do work for a company so you know you you can offer a donation uh we offered 10 pounds um well there was two of us so i'd say about five pounds per person yeah um but yeah, the tour guide was absolutely amazing. I know way more about Jack the Ripper than I did when I started the tour. Um, for anyone who's like into like uh, ghosty horror, I would highly recommend it. Crime. Hmm? Or crime. Oh, crime. Um, wake up, Scott. Wake up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was with a company called um, Sanderman. They do a lot of tours all over Europe as well as um, New York as well. Um, some of their tours are free, some of them aren't. If there's something that you um, want to, if there's something that you want to like do, but it's not on their itinerary, um, just get in touch with them and they can put sort of like a plan together. It will cost you obviously because you're doing something out of the ordinary, but um, but yeah, they, they'll be able to build an itinerary for you and then do like a walking tour. But um, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. It went on for just over two hours. Uh, no, just under two hours, wasn't it? But the time just flew by. It was awesome. Like we went walking around the streets. We started off in Tower Hill and went all the way to Whitechapel. Um, one thing I would note, though, is make sure that when you end the tour, that you either speak to the um, tour guide. Tour guide. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> speak to the tour guide or um, make sure you know where your underground is or how you're getting back because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. We ended up walking to Shoreditch High Street, which was closed. Which was closed. But that's an overground. Not an underground. But it was an overground. And then um, we then ended up walking to Liverpool Street. So we were kind of walking around for quite a while. Um, so, yeah, I'd highly recommend asking the tour guide where to go. Um, but, yeah, again. Not only did they do the crime stuff, but she was, like, telling us about um, other places that you can visit. And I'm sure they'll see it all in the video, but just how much information she had on London itself that wasn't part of the tour. The fact that it's free and she had so much information, she was so well researched, she was so well planned and she just knew she was great. She even had like um, pictures as well that she had saved on her phone of um, all the victims um, and stuff like that. It was even some gory stuff as well but and that last message was so inspirational like it's not just about jack the ripper because that's not even his name it's about those poor five women and that we need to think about everything oh such a good tour yeah i i highly recommend them uh we had um carolina uh well there was two different ways you could pronounce it carolina or carolina um well, she, was... she said she was american so she called herself Carolina but she liked the way that um in Europe it's Carolina but yeah she was Carolina Carolina <laughs> you were absolutely amazing if you're uh, watching this video um and anyone else that goes on a tour um I'd highly recommend Carolina 
So yeah. You can't pick who you have though. You can't, no, unfortunately not. It's just a case of booking it. I'll put the links and stuff like that into um into the description of how you book it. Um but it was really, really simple. I literally typed in my name, um, my email address, how many people were coming on the tour. <laughs> and then um i and then the date and then it just goes from there and then you just it comes through automatically but yeah i it was amazing <laughs> that's all i can say it was amazing um and i hope you guys take from this and go on some of their tours they do do another tour which is um city of london tour which We're is three hours long and we are not sponsored by them we weren't even with that company originally. We were with another company, but we just happened to turn up there and they were like, oh, you're more than welcome to join my tour. It's, we start earlier. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, I, so, so I cancelled the other one and then ended up going with um, Sanderman's. And yeah, it was really, really good. So yeah. See you at Waterloo. We are currently in Waterloo. We're just gonna head to a Christmas market. We're tired today. So tired. My legs, feet, everything. We've dropped the bags off um, at Waterloo. Let's pay, I think it's like 20 quid for six hours. Um, there's this little cool thing here. Look at the trees. Yeah, uh, we're currently outside of the Royal Festival Hall. Um, this bit just goes all the way down. I think this area is called South Bank. Yeah, South Bank Centre. Uh, but this is the Winter Market uh, down near Waterloo, South Bank. It smells lovely. Mm. It smells like Christmas dinner. London Eye right in front of us. It's a carousel as well. Um, ice cream, churros, hot dogs. Figured it out. What? Figured it out. Is that what it says? No. Oh. <laughs> but it's hot dogs. Oh. Between the bridges. Craft fair here today. There's the Big Ben in the far end. If you keep heading down this way near towards the eye, um, there's a lovely park there, very nice in the summer. Or, um, um, really good in the um, summer, um, just cool to like chillax and stuff. Um, I think there's a little kids play park over there. It's also where you'll get to um, the Sea Life, um, Shrek and the London Dungeons. It is Big Ben, Candy Floss. I've got a thing about getting Candy Floss after we went to Swanage. And we had candy floss, we kept it in the bag, and then by the end of the night, it was deflated to nothing. Do this, he's gonna give 20 pounds. Thank you! <laughs> Finally, 
If you need our contact, we do events. That's what we can do, fire eating and all that. You can take our leaflets and you can watch it from YouTube. You go on social media, you work them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a group called Fanti Acrobats all the way from Ghana, West Africa. Come on, give an applause. Yay. Grand finale. Go, go. So now after that amazing performance, we are now heading to Christmas market. Mold wine, spice cider, and hot whiskey. This what? Yeah. yeah. Mold wine. Oh. Dutch pancakes. Oh my dog, hot dogs, burgers. Melt Levant kitchen, Lebanese street food. Rusty sign. Old map. The Great British Bee Company. Lynette Jewelry. London. Blendham Roast. Hot Locker Craft Beer. Mold side. Uh, yummy Thai. Uh, the Duck Shed. The Thirsty Farrier. The Maybell Car Company. Now we're on the Thames. Also, um, a number of uh, coffee shops around here as well. Um, there's Estrada just there, uh, Foyle's Bookstore, uh, Pret Monge, uh, La Gamba. There's also a police boat on the Thames at the moment. These are the trees that were lit up last night and are lit up now. Obviously, because you're looking at them. <laughs> they do ice cream down here. I highly would not recommend getting ice cream down here. I came here in, I think it's beginning of August or I can't remember when it was, or end of June, July, something like that. It was summer and I got an ice cream and it cost me six quid, six quid for an ice cream. I was, I was robbed. There's a police um, boat underneath there. Not sure what they're doing. Charing Cross is in the background over there. I told Kitty that we wouldn't be going for a romantic walk across the Thames this whole trip. And we've ended up going on the. Uh, Christmas market and we've ended up on the Thames. <laughs> well, because there's a little fish on it. Welcome to the Thames. Suddenly it was morning, suddenly it was night. As we we're walking over across the Thames, um, you can see Big Ben's right there um, and the Houses of Parliament. Also, the London Eye again. I do love this thing, not sure why, but I do. There's a police boat. Uh, so this is where you go um, if you want to go to the London Dungeons. It's a bit of a, like a horror educational... People jump out at you. ...sort of thing. If you like that sort of thing, that's, that's for you. Here's a list of pricing. Um, Standard entry ticket for an adult is £25, pounds, child is £29. Uh, you can visit two attractions, so you can do the London Dungeons and the Big Bus. 60, the shop 54. Uh, visit free attractions, so you can visit the dungeons, Battle Two Swords, and um, London Eye. Adults 80 pounds, child 72. Um, yeah. Shrek's Adventure. So Shrek's Adventure is. Yeah, I want to do this as well. Oh. Get a dragon penny mate. 
Princess Fiona. What's that? It's lemonade. This is that scotch beer. It's all quite sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. This one's called the Basilisk's Blood. And it's mixed fruits, sugar free potion. The next one is a tropical fruit, and this is the unicorn essence. Again, sparkly. And then again, this one's got sparkles in it as well. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that in film. Uh, this one's Tears of a Wizard Cream Soda. Those are £3.50 each. They also serve ice creams, um, soda. Oh, that's cute. Pigs and blankets, funny, y'all. I'm not going to real one. Beware, ogre. No. Beware, ogre. Is there anything? Oh, there is something on the back. Oh, that's cute. That's a nice lounge That is a nice lounge fly. There's also characters from Madagascar as well. Kung Fu Panda. Right. For Chain of Dragon. Ooh. Boots. Is it boots? Um. Shrek Adventures. Okay. So I guess that's what Does it say it? been on the Shrek Adventure? Been on a Shrek Shrektacular. Oh, okay. I love that. I'll put it on my head if you want. Do you want me to know? Yeah. Can't find it anymore, doesn't set my head, I think it's designed for a kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though. Oh, that's a nice mug. Uh, it is, I quite like this one as well. Yeah, is that a thingy one though? No. No, a straw comes out, look. <laughs> Ooh. Playing cards, slime, more pins, country panda. It's like DreamWorks, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Yeah, they are quite cool. They've got like little Shreks on them. <laughs> Yeah, I like these ones. Do you want me to do the thing for you? Yeah. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's like sprinkles in it. Um, and then the Fiona. Oh, this is nice. Look. Oh, that is cool. Look, it's got London Eye, Big Ben, everything. Westminster Abbey. Got a Fiona cup here with a Fiona tiara crown, whatever it is. Oh, ah. nice up. <laughs> pumpkin. Hello, pumpkin. Yes. Make sure you stop by Mr. Pink's Poodle Shop. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Doesn't look like her. Oh, yeah. Like King Kong. Mm. And then there's Gingy on the uh, drawbridge for you. Tower Bridge. I'm a believer. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> My face when I want something. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, and then you can then have ears. So you can be donkey, or you can be Shrek. Big Shrek. Oh, you can make uh, personalised uh, stuff. That would not fit in our teddy uh, thing. 
90 pounds for that. Kitty reaction to potions. Lemonade. Wow, oh, that's really fucking spot. It's cool, right? Nice, look at that. By the way, the uh, London Eye ticket office is just there. You get on the London Eye through here. Just be warned if you want to be by yourself. Ain't Don't... gonna happen. Yeah. So we just spotted this, which is the curling club. Uh, I love the sign that says, let's get peace. Um, and they've got mulled wine and what have you and fries. But I didn't realise they're actually doing probably like curling like you would do sort of like in the Olympics. It's quite cool. I'm mean, gonna guess it's not ice, it's probably like the plastic flooring by the fake ice. Alpine burgers, bratwurst, fries, cheesy fries, mulled wine, boozy hot chocolate, coffee, festive cocktail. Morning all. Um, so back home now. Um, Going to show you the haul of everything that we got from um, London. Um, so let's go, Kitty. So went to the Disney store, and these were five pounds. And these are the soaps that when you put your hand underneath it, it creates a Mickey head. It's good soap as well, and these are normally about twenty-five pounds. So for five pounds, it's an absolute bargain. It's May Lynn, isn't it? May Lynn as the um, panda. So I think I might have showed this. We actually purchased, uh, showed this to you at the Disney store, but we actually purchased one as well. And it has a cute little backpack on the back. It's awesome. Then we have uh, Goose from um, Marvel, or it's from the Marvels and also uh, Miss Marvel. Um, and this little guy here has a magnet in the back of it. I'm holding it right now, which is why it's standing there. And what you do is um, you put it on your shoulder, uh, you put the magnet on your shoulder and then um, it it sits on your shoulder. So it's like a little cat. That's the, um, that's what you do. You slip the magnet underneath and then um, you sit the cat on top of your clothing. And then it's as if the cat is sat on your, uh, on your shoulder. We got um, some Disney pins. Um, this was a Star Wars one. It says, I love you, I know. I know it's probably backwards on this camera because I'm using the front facing camera, um, but you kind of get the gist. These are 12 pounds. Oh yeah. You saw these also on the Disney uh, 100 exhibition, but these were Kitty's ears. Um, it's Darth Vader ears. This was a must for them. And it's got like a little black veil. And, um, we also, you also saw this as well um, at the Disney 100, but this is the Darth Vader lounge fly. This is a mini backpack. Um, the front three white parts here, the six dots on either side, uh, they glow in the dark, uh, which I'm hoping you're able to see when we were going through a, a black light sort of area at um, the exhibition. Um, Back, uh, like the shoulder straps and what have you, I guess, are like a plasticky sort of uh, black material. Um, the innards of the bag, let's see if I can do this one handed. The innards of the bag have like a, have Darth Vader written on them and like his um, control panel on himself. Um, it does also have a front pocket as well, which is right here. Again, it has the same print that is within the inside. Um, this was how much? 85? It was around 85 or 75 pounds. Um, oh yeah, I've got to show you right on the very back, there is 
Darth Vader's um, advanced TIE fighter. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it was roughly about 75 or 85 pounds. This is the book from the Disney 100 um, exhibition. Um, we haven't opened it yet, it's fully sealed, um, but um, there's details in here of the um, exhibitions and what have you that we saw um, at the exhibition. <laughs> Um, here is also a Disney 100 um, experience mug or exhibition mug. Um, this is really cool. We saw this on um, Adam Hatton's channel um, when he went not too long ago. And we we saw it and we were like, oh my God, we have to get this. Um, so it's got like a matte black with um, sort of glossy finish for the characters. Um, but yeah, this is a must have for us. What's the next key? So we've got some photos taken at um, the Disney exhibition. Um, we paid for um, keyring, key fridge magnet, and then a digital package as well, so you can download those. Um, you can also get one where it was like a full picture. Um, you could get a package as well, which had the picture, the downloads, the fridge magnet, and the key ring. Um, when you get these, you have to um, cut them out yourself. Um, so they're pre-printed for you, but you need to get a pair of scissors and cut them, and they're not perforated or anything like that, which we thought they were, but that's fine. Uh, we're back home now and we have scissors. Um, now for so Primark, um, this is a um, Jack Skellington and I've forgotten their name now. Sally. This is a Jack Skellington and Sally hairbrush. It's got little sparkles inside of it. Um, I don't actually know how much this was now, but it was quite a Princess Aurora hairband uh, for all you makeup lovers out there. Um, Kitty does have a thumper one and it's really good so I've got another one and then um, it's, not it's not Disney but it's Looney Tunes um, and Tweety they're Bird. Tweety Bird I thought I do a booty cat that's what it looks like on that side and then the last design wow that is really cool I like that So, got this blanket, it was £6, and it has um, all the M&M characters on it, um, but for £6 it's a bargain, we're also looking for another fleece as well. Um, we also got a magnet which says M&M's London. They're spinning. Oh, a spinning um, keychain, so... It's like a fidget thing that spins around. Next up, we have a uh, we have like a pin. It's an M and M's pin, and it's oh, I'm just one handed. It's a spinny. It spins around. M um, got some M and M's. Which... That's nice ones. You can see some of them at the front there. Okay. So um, this is a medium size. I think it was. Yeah, um, medium cup, and it was twenty two ninety nine. There you go, twenty two ninety nine. Um, basically, we took a picture, <clears throat> so you could, you have four designs that you get to pick. Yep. And they can either be photos or they can be their own um, selection of stuff, and they've got a lot of different selections, like it's in categories. They're all printed onto here. And you get to choose from like a selection of colours, but they kept saying choose bright colours because it comes through better. Yeah. So there are darker colours if you want them. If there's like a design that you don't mind it being dark, but you might not see your photos as well. So that's what they kept saying. But there was like three different gradients of photo you could choose, which was like dark, medium, and light. So you might be able to get away with light picture with a dark. I'm just not sure. We didn't try it because we just yeah. kept getting told to choose light colours and, and we chose those. And there was two different um, booths as well. So um, one was a picture booth. So it's pre-lit in the background, um, lights up the whole room and then takes your photo and then that's where you do the designs. 
and then you get a receipt at the end which takes the till. Or there is a, another booth which I've seen at Disney Springs um, and it's the one where it's, you, I think you connect your phone via their Wi-Fi and if you've got like pictures on your phone or what have you, you can upload them to that um, computer and then you can do your designs that way. The only thing with that machine is though it does not take your photo, just to let you know. Yeah. Um, and then you've got these from the ice cream shop. Oh yeah, I've got these from Venti's, which is that really nice ice cream place. Um, and that's some of the chocolates. It was a dark chocolate, a... Vanilla, I think, and an orange. A vanilla and an orange. <coughs> and then Natural History Museum. Oh yeah, Natural History Museum. We got, because um, we were just there for the dinosaurs mainly, we got a Stegosaurus on a lollipop. That is adorable. And then we got a um, Natural History Museum uh, keychain, which got a Triceratops on it, what looks to be a skull of a T-Rex. It also says Natural History Museum on it. And there is also one more, one more. There's the other one, a T-Rexy sort of creature. And then Kiko's. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone knows Kiko's or anything like that, um, but they are an Italian based um, cosmetics like beauty company. Um, Kiko's got quite a lot of the um, yeah. Kiko colours, uh, yeah, Kiko nail varnishes. But mm -hmm. the weird thing about them is they're really good. But it's not like really expensive. Like I'm not talking like it's going to be the price of like um, the pound shop or um, or like Primark or something like that. It's not like that sort of price. It's about four to five pound per um, nail varnish. But they're really really good. And like, they last a long time. Even though it's a small bottle, they last a long time. And they last a long time on your nails. Um, I didn't use any of them for London. No. Uh, but that's why we got some of these colours because then we can use them if, when yeah. we go back to London. Um, but yeah, I've been using them for 13 years and then we've been using them for 8 years. Yeah. And I found them in Ibiza and I just love, love, love them. But yeah, their, their bristles are really, really good as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you don't have to, it, the coverage is like really good as well. Um, it's turned into a cosmetic channel now. But yeah, their um, brushes are really good, um, really easy to apply. Kiko, just like buy one nail varnish if you can and try it out because we really love the brush. Um, so yeah, we got this one, which was, they're now all fast, most of them are fast dry as well. It's a, like a, a pearly blue, which is quite cool. I chose that one for key. Uh, we've got two of these as well, which is a um, sparkly uh, clear top coat. And I've already had two bottles of that before, but I just love that, like, when it goes over any colour, it makes it sort of matted, but at the same time, it's like very small glitter, so it's really easy to take off, because thicker glitter is oh, it's a nightmare. Um, and then we've got those. <coughs> I join in with Kitty at um, festive periods and Kitty does their toes and then I, I do, well, they pr pretty much do it for me most of the time. Well, sometimes you do it for or you. Or sometimes I do it for you, but, but yeah. Um, so I, I join in the festive spirit. I think last Christmas I ended up doing my actual fingernails, didn't I? Yeah, we had And that was, nice. yeah. yeah. Uh, this is just a white. You're gonna have to show the silver. Oh, that was silver. <laughs> Sorry, I mistake it. I mistook it for the um, other glittery one I did earlier, but that is like a proper glitter silver. Again, it's like a fine glitter, so it's not a pain to take off. And then this one's sort of like a newy one. <coughs> this is called Power Pro. Um, well, that's the range of it anyway, um, but it's like a orangey, corally color. Um, but I've, well, from what I've read of Power Pro, because Kitty and I were like, what? Um, there's a thousand bristles inside of there. I've just dropped it. <laughs> There's a thousand bristles inside in inside of it. All of the bristles are rounded as well. 
which apparently helps. I don't know these things, but um, yeah, and apparently the um, the nail varnish itself is it, meant to last up to seven days, which is pretty good. And that's it. And is that it? That's all that's all our sweets, sweets, pasta, bags, that's it. <clears throat> wow. Thank you for joining. If you watched all of these um, episodes from London, um, really, really do thank you. Please uh, like and subscribe because this is something I want to do as a job. This is our first ever vlog series that we've done. Um, so there'll be many more in the future. Um, and we've got plans of what we're going to release in the coming weeks. Um, yeah, this is, like I said, this is something I want to do as a job. Um, and obviously the vlogs will get better and better. The planning will get better and better as well. Um, this, tr uh, just to recap on this one, this trip, um, was meant to be from Tuesday to Friday. Um, I can't stress enough that if, when you're trying to do like a low budget trip like we've done make sure you sort of book a decent hotel because the hotel that we were first in was the one where it had no hot water and i the reviews looked good on expedia and it was it was great but in the long run if i spent an extra hundred pounds i could have stayed we could have stayed at that travel lodge that we did um after the hotel debacle um so yeah i can't stress enough look at your, look at the reviews not just on the place where you're booking it through but also on like um google reviews and what have you um and then also um what was the other thing i was going to say can't remember what i was going to say that's all right we'll just boop this bit out <laughs> Thanks for watching. Also, if you're really, um, if you like playing Fortnite or um, if you like playing games like Mario Kart, or if you're on Twitch and um, are um, and want to come watch us, um, Katie doesn't show their face again, um, but they do talk. Um, we play a lot of Fortnite, um, and I'm just, oh fuck me, I fuck that. We up. have a lot of fun. Say that again. We have a lot of fun, we play Fortnite, we um, have a lot of fun with people that we've already met on Twitch. Uh, we do have a sense of humour, so don't take anything that we say on there too hard. Because, yeah. you know, we're just having fun and giving each other shit because that's the point of Twitch is to escape realism sometimes and have fun with people and get to know new people and we really enjoy meeting all the people that we've met so far and all the new people that we're going to meet. Uh, we do play Fortnite, we do play Disney games, we play pretty much whatever we feel like playing. Uh, we haven't got a regular schedule right this second, but we will be making a regular schedule, which will be on Twitch. So make sure you follow Scotty Dog on Twitch. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, and then if if, if <laughs> not on Twitch, look forward to um, your likes, your comments. Um, we're also on TikTok. We're also on we're TikTok. Starting that all off. It, that's all new, so we're. We're uh, going for a few platforms. On TikTok, it is Squishy and Kitty. Yeah, on YouTube, it's Squishy and Kitty. And all right. We'll leave all the links down below or on the screen somewhere. I don't know how you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this somewhere is, this is all, it, yeah, this is all very new to us. So, um, <laughs> somewhere there will be all the links and ads and all the things that you need to find us on other platforms to see other stuff that we put on there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, yeah. Thank, thank you for um, joining this first vlog. <laughs> it's been a disaster, but we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.